Hey everyone, I'm James from Zen Systems, and today we're going to take a look at transferring calls using the 3CX web client application. This includes attended transfers, unattended transfers, and call parking. So let's jump into it. So transferring a call can be one of those tricky things to get used to with any new phone system. I'm pleased to say that with 3CX, it is really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate a call to my extension here. <clears throat> You'll see that I'm receiving a call from Michael Williams, and I'm going to answer the call by pressing the green button. So Michael's now talking to me, but actually he wants to talk to William Brown. Okay, so I have two options. When I want to transfer somebody to another call or to another user within the system, I can either hit the transfer button or I can hit the attended transfer button. Now the key difference is that if you just transfer somebody, as soon as you've dialed that extension number and hit and hit call, um, that call is then going to have transferred immediately to the person that you're transferring to without the opportunity for you to announce that call. Attended transfer allows you to ring the person that has been requested, in this case, William Brown. Um, it allows you to have a dialogue with that person so that you can ask them if they are free to speak to the person calling uh, and maybe even um, pass on some initial information about what the call might be regarding. And then, once you've done that and the person wants to accept the call, you can then hit the transfer button. I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to transfer Michael Williams over to William Brown. And you can see that I can enter the extension number if I know it. Uh, it then gives me two choices. I can either connect to William Brown or I can connect directly to his voicemail. Or if I didn't know his extension number, I could very quickly just dial his name and up pops William Brown. I'm then going to click on William Brown the system is now going to ring William Brown. And you can see from my screen here, I'm just going to minimize that, that um, Michael Williams is now connected to William Brown and they are on a call directly with each other. So there was no opportunity for me to uh, tell William Michael was calling for him. So I'm going to end that call. I'm going to show you the other option here. So um, Michael Williams is going to give me a call. I'm going to answer that call by pressing the green button. And then I'm going to do an attended transfer to William Brown. So on this occasion, I'm going to click the attended transfer button. You can see here that it says attended transfer. So I know that's what I'm going to be doing now. As before, I can dial the extension number or I can dial the name if I don't know the extension number. And when I click on William Brown this time, you can see I've got two calls going on. So William Brown is going to answer that call. I'm just going to mute myself so I don't hear myself. And I now have the opportunity to talk to William because I'm on a call with him. So this, all of these options here now refer to my call with William Brown and um, Michael Williams is, is on hold. So William, are you happy for me to take the call or pass the call along to you? And you can see here that the button here is changed to join. So. I'm going to click the join button because William is happy for me to connect the call. And when I do that, Michael Williams is now talking to William Brown. We're going to change the scenario and William is not going to want to answer the call. So Michael Williams is calling me. I answer the call and I select the attended transfer button because Michael wants to talk to William. Again, I search. Up, com up comes Williams 202 extension. I select that. William answers my call. And I then say that, oh, hi, William. I've got Michael on the, on the line for you. Would you like to talk to him? He said, oh, I'm really sorry. Right now, I I'm a little busy. Um, would you mind taking a message for me or letting him uh, know that I'll call him back later? Yep, sure, no problem. And I end that call. Now, 
by ending that call, you can see that I've now been returned to the Michael Williams call and he is on hold. So to go back to Michael, I simply click resume and I can now let Michael know that unfortunately William is not available, but would he like to leave a message for him? I can transfer him directly to his voicemail or he can call back later. Thanks so much for taking some time to watch the video with us today. We love putting them together and it's really important that we're putting valuable content together for our customers. So if you want to see any other videos, subscribe. If you've got any ideas of other videos that we can do for you, stick them in the comments below.